Hey guys, it's Dirt Homie, I'm Spooked, and welcome back to my Steven Universe review series. Today's episode was the same old world, and we got to learn more about Lapis's backstory. Also, before I start this, I'd like to say that there will be more reviews probably on the weekend, because the French airing for the new episodes means that Barnmates and Hit the Diamond will be aired tomorrow in France, and Stephen Floats, which is not supposed to air in the US yet, is going to be aired on Sunday. So these will most likely surface on the internet so you can see more of these out. Anyway, let me continue with the review. This episode starts with Peridot explaining the events of the last episode as they went down into the cluster. Stephen doesn't explain due to him being worried about Lapis, who he goes checks in in the barn. The next night he finds Lapis has awoken from her sleep and is getting ready to leave for Homeworld. He bids farewell to Lapis and heads back to sleep. The next morning all the stuff is packed for the crystal gem to head back to the temple, but Peridot wants to stay behind. Stephen stays behind and wants to catch up on Lion, but as he is looking for Lion he notices Lapis on top of the barn. Lapis then says she has nowhere to go so she came back here even though she knew she wanted to leave. Stephen then insists that they fly around the world and he shows her many places she can live. After exploring a bit they end up at the Galaxy Warp which Lapis tells her backstory on how she was trapped in the mirror. They then head back to the barn in which Lapis decides she wants to live in the barn until the conversation is interrupted by Peridot, in which Lapis finds out that Peridot's staying, she gets angry and consults Steven on whether or not it's her home or Peridot's home. Then the episode ends on Steven looking very awkward. So firstly I'd like to say that I love this episode, mainly because of Lapis's return, and this being the most screen time she has had. It was so nice to see her in a relaxing situation rather than being held down by Jasper, or being in the prison in the warship. And I overall loved how we learned more about Lapis's character as a whole. I can't wait for more episodes featuring Lapis. But I also love the scene at the end where Lapis and Peridot get into that little squabble, which of course leads into barnmates. And I loved how Peridot was so cocky at the end there. But another thing I liked is the fact we got to see so much more of the world of Steven Universe. Like before we've only seen Beach City, now we see these big places like Jersey and Empire City. And all these stunning landscapes we haven't seen before. I also love the gem appearances from like the war and that random gem that just came out of nowhere with that colourful hair that smashed Lapis. But I really hope we learn more backstory behind Lapis, because I want to know like what happened to her when she was picked up by Pearl and gave to Rose Quartz. I have so many questions on the matter and I hope more gets explained in the upcoming episodes. I also love the animation in this episode. Many people say it's derpy due to the character designs, but I think the gems with bigger hair looks kinda cool. I mean, I liked seeing Peridot with that big goofy hair on her head, and I love Lapis's bigger hair, but the only one that didn't really work was Steven's longer hair. The only thing negative I can say about this episode is that we didn't learn much about Lapis's past. We only learned the key things like her getting put in a mirror which we already knew and how she was put in the mirror and stuff but we didn't know why she was sent to Earth, what part she was in, why she was there as I said before but there's so many questions still remaining about Lapis and it was all just about a 15 minute second clip. But yeah, those were the key things I loved about this episode, but generally I have to give my full score on this episode, and I've give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. As I said, I can't really give much negative input on this, as it is probably one of the best episodes I've seen. Can't really beat Jailbreak or the original Lapis episodes, but it was a nice episode. I love seeing Lapis back, and I hope we see Lapis a lot more now with the future episodes coming up. That's it for this review, and I will hopefully see you on Sunday for my review of Hit the Diamond and Barn Mates. That is if someone uploads them in English from the French feed. But otherwise, we're going to have to wait until next Friday until I can do another one of these. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please like, and yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Presented by Baba Boy Pizzeria Productions.